Hi, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Storytime Anytime. Today, we are going to learn about an interesting amphibian, the frog. Do you know why frogs are so slimy? What they like to eat? How this amazing creature changes from a tiny tadpole to an adult frog? There are so many fun facts to learn about frogs. Are you ready to hop on in? There are at least 4,000 different kinds of frogs in the world. They live on all the continents except Antarctica, and they've been around since the time of the dinosaurs. Most frogs live near ponds, lakes, and swamps, but not all of them. Some live in deserts, others in jungles, and some even survive in the cold Arctic. But just what are frogs? Frogs are amphibians, and all amphibians are ectothermic, or cold-blooded, which means their body temperature is the same as the temperature around them. To warm up, frogs sunbathe in moist places where their skin will stay in top condition, wet and slimy. Bullfrog Green frog most frogs have smooth, moist skin. They do not have feathers, fur, or scales. The word amphibian means with two lives. Most baby frogs live in the water and look nothing like the adults that live on land. How do frogs grow up? A frog's body undergoes some astounding changes before it becomes an adult. This is called metamorphosis. It has three steps. Number one, eggs. Frogs begin their life as soft, jelly-like eggs. Most adult female frogs lay their eggs in water. They place their eggs where the babies will be able to find food and hide from hungry predators such as birds, fishes, and turtles. Some frogs lay just one egg, while others lay 50,000 or more. Some frogs lay their eggs in damp areas on the ground among leaves or mosses. Still others make foamy nests in trees or on the ground. A few frogs carry their eggs with them until they hatch. Number two, tadpoles. After several days to several weeks, larvae hatch from the eggs. Larvae are also called tadpoles. They have large round heads and long slender tails for quick swimming. They breathe underwater with gills just as fish do. Most tadpoles are plant eaters or herbivores. They filter out small particles of plant material in the water or scrape at vegetation with their tiny teeth. Some tadpoles are meat eaters or carnivores. They eat tiny insects, animals, and other frogs' eggs. As tadpoles grow, internal gills take the place of their external gills. Within a few months, they grow hind legs, then front legs. Their tails slowly shorten. Then their eyes and mouths become larger. Some frogs do not have a tadpole stage. They hatch from eggs as tiny froglets. Tadpoles also begin to grow lungs. They swim to the water surface to test their lungs by gulping air. Number three, adults. After two to four months, most tadpoles are ready to become adult frogs. The adults no longer have gills. Like you, they breathe through lungs. Using long, powerful hind legs and webbed feet, the adults can now walk, hop, or jump on land and swim in water. There are even frogs that can climb trees. 
Some frogs remain tadpoles for a long time. A bullfrog may be a tadpole for up to two years. Frog metamorphosis. Egg. Tadpole. Hind legs appear. Front legs appear. Adult. Why are frogs so slimy? Some frogs have special glands in their skin that produce mucus. That's the stuff that makes frogs feel slimy. Others produce a waxy substance to keep their bodies from losing water and drying out. A frog will die if it doesn't keep its skin moist. As a frog grows, it has to shed its skin. This is called molting. The frog pulls off its old skin with its feet, then eats it. Tree frogs have sticky mucus glands on their toes that help them climb. When molting, the old skin splits down the back. Then the frog uses its hind legs to push the skin over its head and into its mouth. Bullfrog. Believe it or not, scientists have developed many life-saving medicines from the chemicals in frog's skin. You have to see it to eat it. Frogs see things best from a distance of 2 to 20 feet away. Up close, a fly could hide right in front of a frog's nose. Frog's eyes do more than just see. They also help a frog swallow its food. When a frog is taken in a large mouthful, it pulls its eyes into the roof of its mouth to help push the food down its throat. A frog can see in all directions with its bulging, high-set eyes. A frog's ears are called tympanums. Frogs can hear very well. Bullfrog. Many frogs use their sense of smell to guide them back to the ponds where they were born to lay their own eggs. How do frogs eat? Most frogs have big mouths and long, sticky tongues. They flick out their tongues, slurp, to catch their prey. Frogs have small, sharp teeth that tightly hold the prey so it cannot escape as it is being swallowed whole. One frog can eat up to 10,000 insects in one summer. Northern Leopard Frog Big-mouthed bullfrogs eat insects, birds, fish, mice, snakes, small turtles, and even other frogs. Most frogs hunt at night and eat insects. Many of them also eat spiders, snails, slugs, worms, crayfish, and other small animals. They catch larger prey with their mouth or front feet. Staying alive. Frogs have to be able to hide or run from predators. They must also survive extreme temperatures and periods without food. Poison arrow frogs. Bright colors warn predators that a frog is poisonous. The African bullfrog can give predators a sharp, painful bite. Wood frogs and gray tree frogs can survive the winter because their bodies produce a natural antifreeze. Blind frogs can leap out of trees and glide using their large webbed feet as parachutes. Some frogs puff up their bodies to look bigger when facing a predator. Many frogs dig into the ground to escape long periods of heat and dryness. Other frogs may sleep through winter, buried in mud at the bottom of a pond until spring. Toad or frog? Actually, all toads are frogs. Toads share certain characteristics with frogs and also have some unique ones of their own. Frogs have moist skin, smooth in most. 
slender bodies, long hind legs, small teeth, webbed feet. A group of frogs is called an army. Toads have poison glands behind eyes, dry skin, bumpy in most, no teeth, short, plump bodies, short hind legs, feet have little webbing. A group of toads is called a knot or congress. And you can find these amazing amphibians in your own backyard. Ribbit! That was great! There are so many interesting facts about frogs. Here's a few more. Frogs absorb water through their skin, so they don't need to drink. The largest living frog is the Goliath bullfrog, or giant slippery frog. It can grow up to 13 inches in length and weigh over 7 pounds. Some frogs can jump up to 20 times their own body length in a single leap. The smallest frogs in the world are less than half an inch long. The golden dart frog is the most poisonous frog on earth. It lives in the tropical rainforests of Central and South America. This brightly colored frog can kill a human being in 10 minutes if the poison enters a person's bloodstream. Yikes! Generally, frogs cannot live in the sea or any salt water. And when a frog swallows its food, it pulls its eyes down into the roof of its mouth. This helps the frog to push the food down its throat. Let's listen to an adorable song called, What Will I Be? I bet you can guess what this song is all about. for joining us today on Storytime Anytime. Until next time, hop into learning more about frogs and other interesting amphibians. This has been brought to you by Twin Sisters Digital Media and Evergreen Podcasts. Be sure to hit subscribe. If your children enjoyed these songs and stories, go to TwinSisters.com to find even more ways for them to sing and learn. 
Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter for our free download of the day giveaways and promotions on exciting new digital learning content like these and much more. And visit our friends at evergreenpodcasts.com. Thank you for joining us at Storytime Anytime.